Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. This is Alicia and this is your source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. Today is a very special episode because I'm going to show you one really powerful technique that can address so many issues in the upper body. Anything from um, wrist or carpal tunnel issues to elbow tendonitis, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, things like that as well as shoulder issues and even pain between the shoulder blades and sometimes headaches and migraines, things like that. So if you have elbow issues of any kind that are here, not so much the inside, this one technique could probably eliminate them. Um, and if you have wrist issues, carpal tunnel, shoulder issues, stuff like that, this can bring significant relief, though it's probably not gonna be a full solution. I'm wondering if you have any guesses because I'm, I'm betting this one will surprise you. It's not the chest, which is probably what most people are thinking, and it's not the traps. It's actually a very small area that packs a big fascial punch because it's a major junction for a lot of muscles. And I am talking about the brachialis, which is right here. And by the way, maybe you're seeing me hold this, but you are going to need a lacrosse ball for this um, technique today. So if you have one, go grab it to follow along. Okay, the reason this is such a powerful place to release isn't because of the brachialis itself, but all the muscles that it's directly connected to. Um, and that is basically, so the brachialis is right here and it directly connects to the biceps, the triceps, the middle deltoid, uh, the brachioradialis, and then a bunch of the extensors of the wrist and um, fingers. And then indirectly connects through a fascial line to the coracoid brachialis and the pectoralis minor, which attach to the coracoid process. And the coracoid process along with the acromium serve to stabilize the shoulder. And no, you do not need to know all that or memorize it um, to have this help you. But just to give you an idea of how powerful this location is, um, because it attaches to all of these things, it can help when you release this area, it can help relax the shoulder joint, the elbow, and the wrist. The hard part with this one is it's a little bit tricky to master, and I'm going to do my best to help you, but if at first you don't succeed with this one or you find it frustrating, please try, try again, because I promise you it is worth learning this one if you have upper body issues. Okay, so before I actually show you what to do, we're gonna, you're going to need a pole of some sort, so you want to maybe be in a gym or if you have a doorway or something like that, um, you're going to be moving around the pole. But before I do that, um, I just kind of want to have you maybe try to find the spot first before trying to pin it um, with the lacrosse ball. And if you notice, I'm kind of flexing my tricep right here, and the brachialis is kind of right under it, and then between the tricep and the bicep. Um, and you don't want to be flexing your muscles too much or it won't pop out, but put maybe these two fingers right here, and then bend your elbow, and then rotate back and forth, and you might need to feel around like right there, I just found it. And when you find it, if there's tightness there, you're gonna feel a lump that's gonna clunk under your fingers. Um, so don't be afraid to like feel around for that. Most people that I've worked on in my private practice over the last eight years have a lot of tightness here because what are we all doing today? We're, we're doing this and we're doing this and it, we're holding kids or generally having our elbows bent and creating a lot of fascial tightness in that one area. So now if you kind of um, have found it, now we're going to take it to the lacrosse ball and the pole. Basically, we're going to stick that ball right where the brachialis is and then um, onto the pole. And then I'm going to step away a little bit so that I can lean my body weight into that area and actually right now I just want to give you a little bit of a, um, a cautionary uh, piece of advice. If you feel anything that's nervy, um, stop. <laughs> so you know a lot of the things that I teach you do actually suck or hurt but there's good pain and bad pain and there are nerves right here so if you feel anything um, like sharp shooting pain, electrical, something like that, that's nerve pain. That kind of um, denser, achier, just tight, like sucky feeling is that fascial tightness and that's normal. So, once you kind of pin it, and this is gonna take a little bit of playing around for you, it did with me too, but once you master it, then you kind of know what you're looking for every time. Um, I'm kind of 
leaning into the pole at, I don't know if I'm at 45 degrees, but I'm not directly facing it, and I'm not totally away either. Um, once you have that weight in there, you're going to need to stabilize it with your opposite hand the whole time. Um, you want to kind of flex your fingers or put some tension in there, and then you're going to use rotation. Like, I'm on that right now, and it's really tight on me. I need this one all the time. Um, and then you're basically, you can use, so this is flexion, and this is extension at the elbow, and then you're going to use rotation to kind of work it out. So you're going to use all those things. Um, and you basically just want to stay on that lumpy, crunchy, gunky, uh, yucky spot and work it out. Um, and I, if mine's really bad, I might stay on this sucker for like, I don't know, three to four minutes just working it out and it sucks. I've actually had this so tight before that when I go to do this, I want to vomit. <laughs> so if that happens to you, <laughs> that's normal if you're that close to maybe wanting to throw it back off. Um, I tend to like to go after things and get it over with, um, but just play around until you find it, and then once you do, just have at it, and then step away and move your arm a little bit and see what you notice. I hope this has been helpful. Please like, subscribe, share if you find this helpful, and if you want more tips for feeling unstoppable and getting rid of pain, you can visit my website, mobilitymastery.com. For the full blog post accompanying this video, you can click the link right below. Uh, and I will see you next week. Freedom from pain. My brachialis feels so good. <laughs> <laughs>